Why hello there and welcome back to Let's Play Golden Sun The Lost Age. Last time we had a fun time at the Yampi Desert Cave. And well, got almost the final summoning in the game. We did also gain all of the elemental chin. Oh yeah. Today there are things in Contigo. First of all, a cutscene that I kind of missed, I guess. If you come back here into Hammer's house. Cutscene! That doesn't make too much sense at this point, now that we've half beaten Mars Lighthouse. <laughs> But, oh well. Say, you wouldn't know anything about Shiva, would you? Think of her as a woman, Ivan. Well, well. <laughs> um, we kind of already know what's happening. The world is kind of breaking apart. <laughs> assume you unlocked this cutscene as soon as you have seen the cutscene after hovering out of Attica Island. This is Attica, right? Or is it Hesperia? Dang it! <laughs> I think this is Attica, yeah. Yeah, um, we kind of know that already. We beat him up and he's kind of dying up there. And he's gonna be dying for the next two or three episodes. <laughs> Great power stands ready to oppose them. Yeah, they were, they were kind of stopped and turned into dragons and frozen. Weren't they? Hmm. But what kind of power could possibly stand in their way, in our way? If you go really deep down, you will probably find water that's hotter than 100 degrees Celsius, though. Due to the pres pressure down there, it won't evaporate. Like, if you cook water here and it reaches 100 degrees Celsius, it will boil and evaporate. But under the ocean, pressure is much higher, it can easily get hotter than that. But the reason why the water is down there, the hot water is down there, is because of volcanoes doing fire and stuff. Um, 
actually it very much can. <laughs> That's why you usually use liquids as coolant in industrial applications and stuff and not so much gases. <laughs> That is to say, you do use gases in some applications. Depends on what you're doing, really. Yep. Because that's what we had decided a long time ago. Oh well. I found a cutscene and I showed it off. Ha ha! I also talked to everyone in Contigo, most of which are pretty happy that Ivan has returned, but nobody seems to know anything about Sheba except for this old guy here. That sounds like a thing, you got anything else to say about that? Let's have Sheba mind read the guy. Ah. I figure that's probably where Sheba is from. Sailor Moon returns! Oh yeah! <laughs> anyway, using this teleporter, we can get to a place, Animus Inner Sanctum. Where well, there's an open chest down there. Interesting. We've been here before. There was a dragon skin in that chest. In fact, that's the center entrance at the Temple of Animus down there in the bottom right corner. And there's these weird things here. That will only activate... If you have all chins of that element. Fire! Oh. Water? And wind. So you absolutely are required. It's absolutely necessary to have imported Golden Sun play data into this game. And you must have gotten well most of the chin in that game. In order to be able to Venture forth into the inner Animus Sanctum. But we immediately meet a boss protecting the ultimate Earth Elemental Summon. Or not? Yeah, maybe not. Probably not. <laughs> Caron. Oh yeah. That's a lot of chin. My main party can't actually muster that many <laughs> Venus chin. It's a thing. I'll show that one off soon enough. For the time being, let's go deeper. The right paths that ends. Where I want to go is the left path. Also Bombander, if I'm not... I think they can drop Salamander Tails if you are in need of more forgeable materials. What's that, Felix? You don't feel like unleashing Megiddo anymore? Just screw up your equipment? Don't think so. Oh well. Moving on. <laughs> Um, the right path is a shortcut for later. Where we need to go is the left path. Grey Whites. Let's see how that works out. I don't think I'm gonna be killing more than one of them, to be honest. Yep. 
Yep. Ouch. Ouch. Well, they're not gonna be living long here, <laughs> so there's that. Ooh, I'm sorry, Crystal, that's an interesting drop, to say the least. Ah, yes, these puzzles, they are a thing. The block on the right side is mirroring our movements. We must be careful not to drop it into a hole. Um, up here is the dead end. You can't just see two staircases there. Sky dragons! Now these guys you may want to farm. Because they can drop Orichalcum. <laughs> it would be amazing if I got an Orichalcum drop on screen. Are you already the final new enemy in this game, in this place? Because you very well might be. Ooh, nice. Reverse Star actually recovers PP for Mia. That's useful to have. Actually, don't you have... No, no, bomb. With any luck, that's gonna be enough to heal every other one to max. And yeah. Good job, Garrett. You leveled up. Thanks for informing us. So that's a shortcut I talked about earlier. Not super useful, but it's there. Um going up leads to a dead end. Yes. We would need to be able to push that pillar out of the way and we would have a shortcut later. Oh, come on. I attack first, you know what? Bye bye, buddies. When you attack first, you can run guaranteed. Ah, this actually might be an interesting combination. Because there's a good chance they both survive. Well, maybe not. But maybe I can get Orichalcum on stream. Maybe. <laughs> Aww. Anyway, step on all these things and the elevator activates. Easy, right? How could that ever be a problem? Well, we'll find out soon enough. <laughs> Unlocking the shortcut in case we ever need it. I don't see why we would need it, but it's there. And I guess I can keep this battle in because a single mad demon is gonna get Mickey Dot to death. Yeah. <laughs> if anything survives the Mickey Do, I'm gonna be afraid. That's the staircases I talked about earlier with a dead end down there. So, by the way, Sky Dragons enjoy using killer moves um, that poison you. That's why I used Tonic to get rid of poison on two of my characters. So down here we get some more Dark Matter, which is actually dropped by the Wonderbirds in Treasure Island. No, not Treasure Island. Um, the Sea of Time Islet Cave. Such a dumb name. <laughs> the cave that we unlocked after the animal trading side quest. Basically. More shortcut up there. For later. And this is how these things are fun. <laughs> if you don't go this very specific path, 
Well, you're not gonna have a good time. Since, well, we can't exactly step on one of these tiles twice. And we need to end up here. More Sky Dragons. What's make it, what makes you think you can survive this one? That's what I thought. <laughs> so, let's unlock the shortcut first. By the way, I have a feeling that that I'm running into less enemies than on my test runs. And on my test runs I used a void. Oh yeah, I, I was... For a moment I was wondering why Chenna's HP was suddenly larger than before. But, well, that's because she's kind of leveled up. By the way, I said list, lift to a trigger before starting the episode. Because I knew this rock was here. <laughs> the goal in this room is to push those three pillars out of the way. So that we can't go through the door in the top left. You see that switch on the left there? We can step on it and open the door, but we need to keep it pressed in order to go through the door. And this friggin' bomb bandage can just go and die in a meteor crash. Oh, that's right, I haven't done any meteor yet. <laughs> or something along these lines. Well, here's my chance, probably. Meteor! <laughs> oh, well. So, over here we have one of the more tricky variations of this puzzle. Let's see here. If I, were to, I can't go up two spots. So, I need to push that down a little first. In order to bring it over there. Yeah. And we can push the first of these columns out of the way. Moving on to part two. <laughs> Technically I attack first, but it's just one. They die quickly. The longest part about this battle is the freaking animation. <laughs> Oh well. So now we want to go up here. And I think I'm gonna go for a little bit of length on this video. Can I run? Crap. So much for that. I'm still gonna run. Because I don't feel like fighting. Yeah, leave Felix behind. We don't need him anymore. So, from here we can push this column out of the way. Still is not enough though. We need to return one more frigging time. Frigging enemies, what do they even want from me? But to be fair, this is their home. They live here. And <laughs> we are kind of intruding. So push this column out of the way and the path is clear. Where were you even aiming, Felix? Oh yeah. 